To measure aggression in Drosophila melanogaster, we place a small cap filled with fly food inside of an enclosed arena. The food provides a territory over which the males will fight for control. Yeast is the primary food source of adult flies. We mix the yeast with water to create a paste and a dab is added to the surface to provide an odorant cue to attract males to the territory, as well as giving them a resource to defend. To further entice the males to defend the territory, we also place a decapitated female on the surface of the food. The five-day-old males have been isolated since eclosion, increasing their propensity to fight over the female. Two males are then aspirated gently into the arena and the hole is covered with cotton. Soon after arriving on the territory, the male will typically begin courtship. The male orients to the female and begins producing courtship song by vibrating one of its wings while moving around the female. Once the male has circled behind the female, he then licks the genitalia of the female. After some time, the male will attempt copulation. The presence of the first male on the food will often attract the second, who will compete with the first for the female and the territory. Though the female is headless, she retains her motor function for several hours and can move about the food, resist the male's copulation attempts, or reject them entirely. Males perform a variety of behaviors in order to win fights. Here, one male begins by pushing the other male with its forelegs, followed by a mock copulation attempt. It then rears back and slams itself down on the other male. This lunging behavior can be a primary determinant of fight outcome. Upon confrontation from the loser of the previous fight, the winning male uses a series of lunges to forcibly chase the other male away from the yeast resource and the female. He continues performing lunges until the other male is chased completely off the food surface. Once again, the losing male returns to the food territory. The winning male observes the intrusion and uses another round of successive lunges to evict him. Though flies are safe from predation in the laboratory, danger is often lurking in the wild. While the males feed on the yeast, they appear to be unaware of the mantis perched directly above them. The mantis is a visual predator and uses the movement of one of the male flies to gauge the distance required to attack. The mantis adjusts its posture and prepares to reach out with its raptorial forelegs, which are covered in spines that help prevent the escape of a captured prey item. The mantis is not always successful, however, and this male is able to escape the attack. In slow motion, you can see that even though the mantis successfully grabbed the fly, the fly was able to wrestle its way free. The mantis does not always need to attack from above. Here it waits on the surface of the food to ambush the male moving around on the yeast. While the mantis consumes the first male, the second male performs several strange unexplained behaviors. After landing on the surface of the food, it raises onto its hind legs and uses its forelegs to swipe at the mantis and the captured fly. Inexplicably, the fly again approaches the mantis and uses its forelegs to push the mantis, forcing it to adjust its stance. Continued disturbance elicits a reaction from the mantis. While the mantis consumed the rest of the fly, the second male was able to successfully initiate copulation with the female, yet it appears the mantis is still hunting. Though the mantis has a powerful strike, it was unable to remove the male in copula.